So now we are going to see another concept based on complex number and that is called as algebra of complex number. Now guys, when I said algebra of complex number, what came into your mind? So yes, when we say algebra, it is just related with four operations that is addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. So as we do addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, with real numbers, now we will learn how to perform these operations with complex number. So guys, for that we have to consider at least two complex numbers because then only we will be able to add those numbers, subtract those numbers or multiply or divide those numbers. So let's start. So for that I have taken two complex numbers z1 and z2 so the value of z1 is x1 plus i by 1 and the value of z2 is x2 plus i by 2 so whenever we are adding to complex number that is the first operation of addition so whenever we are adding any two complex numbers we generally add real part with the real part and imaginary part with the imaginary part so this will give us z1 plus z2 equal to so real part in the first number is x1 and the real part in the second number is x2. So x1 plus x2. Similarly, from the imaginary part we can take i common. So we will get y1 plus y2. So this is the addition of two complex numbers. So let's find the subtraction of two complex numbers. So subtraction is also done in similar way. So, if I want to find out z1 minus z2, that is subtraction of two complex numbers, then that time we subtract real part from real part and imaginary part from imaginary part. So, your real part x1 and x2, so I'll say x1 minus x2. Because this z2 is the second number and we are subtracting this z2 from z1. So, we'll get x1 minus x2. Let's say if you are subtracting z1 from z2, then that will be z2 minus z1 and therefore here you will get x2 minus x1. Now, this is about the subtraction of real part. Now we will subtract the imaginary part from imaginary part. So we will get i y1 minus i y2. So from that I can take i common and we can get y1 minus y2. So this is what the subtraction of two complex numbers. Now, let's see the multiplication of two complex numbers. So, I'll write here z1 into z2, which is x1 plus i y1 into x2 plus i y2. Now, guys, to perform the multiplication of two complex numbers, we'll use the usual manner that we use to multiply any two numbers or any two brackets in algebra. So, here, I'll multiply the second bracket with x1 and then again I'll multiply the second bracket with i y1. So we will get x1 x2. Here x1 into the second term is plus i x1 y2. Next i y1 into x2 that is plus i y1 x2 and i y1 into i y2 will give us plus i square y1 y2. Now i square is minus 1. So this will become minus y1 y2 that is the real term. So what we will do is we will take real terms together and imaginary terms together. So in this result x1 x2 is real term and minus y1 y2 is the real term. So we will get x1 x2 minus y1 y2. Now this middle two terms are imaginary terms. So we can take i common and you will get i in the bracket x1 y2 plus y1 x2. So 
This is the result of multiplication of two complex numbers. Now guys, let's see the last operation that is the division of two complex numbers. So, for that we'll find out the value of z1 upon z2. So it is x1 plus i y1 upon x2 plus i y2. So guys, whenever we are dividing any two complex numbers, we always try to remove the complex number from the denominator. And for that, we multiply and divide that quantity with the conjugate of the denominator. So here the denominator is x2 plus i y2. We know the conjugate of that as x2 minus i y2. So I multiply numerator and denominator with that conjugate, which is also called as complex conjugate. And you all know that this operation is called as rationalization. So basically I will be performing rationalization where I will be multiplying numerator and denominator by the complex conjugate of this denominator. So here we will get x2 minus i y2 as extra term in numerator and denominator. So, why are we multiplying it? To remove complex number from the denominator. Now, you can see that in the denominator we got two brackets which are exactly same with the difference in the sign. So, here we can apply the formula of algebra that is a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. So, here x2 plus i y2 into x2 minus i y2 will give us x2 the whole square minus i y2 the whole square. Now, let's come back in the numerator. So, here we have two different brackets. So, we have to multiply. So, for multiplication, again, we'll see or we'll use the method that we had used previously. So, by that method, here I multiply second bracket with x1 and then i y1. So, we'll get x1 x2 minus i x1 y2 then plus i y1 x2 and this will be minus i square y1 y2 now guys we know that i square is minus 1 so minus minus plus so plus y1 y2 will become the real part so we will take all real terms together so here x1 x2 is a real term and plus y1 y2 is real term so here we will get x1, x2 plus y1, y2 together. Plus, now from these two terms, that is middle two terms, which are imaginary, we can take i common. So, plus i outside and we will get y1, x2 and minus x1, y2. In the denominator, x2 square as it is, we know the square of i is minus 1. So, this i square is minus 1 into this minus will become positive. So, plus y2 square. Now guys, from the denominator we have removed the complex number and we got the real number in the denominator. So, we know the rule of algebra which we have studied in school days that if in the numerator we have multiple terms and in the denominator we have only one term, then we can divide each term separately with the denominator. So, by doing that here we will get x1, x2 plus y1, y2 upon x2 square plus y2 square plus i. Here we will get So now you can see here that we got the single real part and single imaginary part. So this is the way that we divide any two complex numbers. So guys, here we have learned all the operations of algebra of complex numbers. Thank you.